Welcome to the lecture on problem solving on riser design. So, in this lecture we will solve the problems based on calculating the riser volume by different methods. So, let us take the first question. The first question is determine the dimensions of an optimum cylindrical riser whose height is taken as diameter attached to the side of a steel plate casting having dimension of 25 centimeter by 12.5 centimeter by 5 centimeter. So, the dimension is given of the plate which is to be cast and we have to find the size of the cylindrical riser that is side cylindrical riser and first method is by which you have to find is using Keynes relationship and we know that the Keynes relationship is nothing but x equal to a by y minus b plus c. So, Keynes relationship is x equal to a by y minus b plus c and a, b and c is given where x is the freezing ratio. So, that is surface area by volume of casting upon surface area upon volume of riser. So, and then y is volume of riser upon volume of casting. So, that is known as volume ratio that is ratio of the riser volume to the casting volume. Plate dimension is given. So, plate dimension is 25 by 12.5 upon 5 multiplied by 5 that is centimeter cube. So, this is the volume of the plate. Then we will find now we have been given A as 0 0.1, B as 0 0.03 and C as 1. So, we have to calculate this x and y. So, let us calculate first the x. So, freezing ratio for that we have to find surface area by volume of casting. So, if you find S A by V of casting it is nothing but surface area of this plate. So, it will be 2 times 25 into 12.5 plus 12.5 into 5 plus 25 into 5 upon volume of the casting. So, that is 25 into 12.5 into 5. So, it will be 25 into 25 plus 25 into 5 plus 25 into 10. So, every term is multiplied by 2 upon 25 into 12.5 into 5. So, you can have 25 in all these terms. So, 25 plus 5 30 plus 10 40 divided by 25 into 12.5 into 5. So, this will be cut. So, it will be 40 by 50. So, 4 by 5. So, it is by mistake it is not 5 basically it will be 40. So, this will be 8. So, it will be 16 upon 25 this will be 16 upon 25. Next is surface by area by volume of riser. So, 
if we take the optimum cylindrical riser and the side riser in that case a riser which has two surfaces at the top and bottom acting as the surface which is extracting the heat which is basically releasing the heat as well as the curved surface. So, for that basically what we get is 6 by d because it comes from the fact that for h equal to d now we have riser has height equal to d this is the condition. So, for height equal to d it will be surface area is nothing but pi by 4 d square is the curved surface area plus so this is 2 times no this is the top surface area. So, 2 times pi by 4 d square plus pi d into d so that is pi d square and this will be divided by volume. So, that will be pi by 4 d cube. So, in this way this will be 6 pi by 4 d square divided by pi by 4 d cube. So, that will be coming as 6 by d. So, this 6 by d we have got surface area by volume of the riser that is of optimum size and shape the cylinder which has both the surfaces I mean releasing the heat from here also from here also. So, we got this. So, in that case we get the freezing ratio x as surface area by volume of casting. So, that comes as 16 upon 25 divided by surface area by volume of riser that is 6 upon d. So, it will be 16 upon 25 into d upon 6. So, it will be eight d upon 75. So, what we see is we are getting for these dimensions x and y. Now, we have to put this in this particular equation. No, one more thing is left that is y that is volume of riser upon volume of casting. So, volume of riser that is pi by 4 d cube and volume of casting is given as 25 into 12.5 into 5. So, it will be pi upon 25 into 4 that is 100 into 12.5 into 5. So, 12.5 into 5 is 62.5 into 100 that is 6250 d cube. So, this is what is the volume ratio. So, we have calculated this is nothing but the value volume ratio that is y and this is x. Now, we will substitute these values in this equation x equal to a by y minus b plus c. So, it will be 8 d upon 75. So, x is freezing ratio that is 8 d upon 75. that will be equal to a upon. So, a is 0 0.1 upon y minus b, y is pi d q by 6250 minus b, b is given as 0 0.03 plus 1. So, this is the equation which has to be solved and this can be solved by iteration methods maybe by trial and error methods and once you solve this equation by trial and error methods solution gives 
d as 10.89 centimeter. So, using Keynes method and provided these values of A, B and C, we get the diameter of the riser as 10.89 centimeter and height also is the same as the diameter and this dimension of a riser, a cylindrical riser is sufficient to feed a plate casting of 25 centimeter by 12.5 centimeter by 5 centimeter and this way we use this Keynes method. Now, we will solve the B part. So, B part is using the shape factor method. Now, as we know in the shape factor method in place of freezing ratio, we evaluate the term shape factor and shape factor is nothing but the ratio of length plus width and thickness. So, for that we will calculate the shape factor of this casting and shape factor comes out to be length is 25 plus width is 12.5 upon thickness is 5. It is nothing but length plus width upon thickness. So, shape factor is defined as that and this is coming out to be 7.5. Now, from this shape factor using the curve given for this shape factor method, we can directly calculate the V r by V c. Now, for that we have to refer to this curve. So, if we take the value of 7.5, it will be somewhere close to this point and if you go further up it will be somewhere coming close to 0.5. So, near to this value of 0.5 you can take as the volume ratio. So, for shape factor value of 7.5 from graph V r by V c can be taken as 0 0.5. So, that is this is very much clear from here this will be going up and at this point if you draw the horizontal line it will be coming close to this. So, that is 0 0.5 it means V r will be V c multiplied by 0 0.5. So, V c is 25 by 12.5 by 5 into 0 0.5. So, this can be calculated and 25 multiplied by 12.5 by 5 by 0 0.5. So, it will be 781 point 25 centimeter cube. So, for this you have to calculate the size of the cylindrical riser. This is the volume of the cylindrical riser with h equal to d. So, it means for h equal to d for a cylindrical riser volume will be pi by 4 d cube and that is calculated out to be 781.25. So, d will be calculated as 781.25 into 4 upon pi raised to the power 1 by 3 and this we can get into 4 divided by 3.14 and it is raised to the power 1 by 3. So, that comes out to be 
98 centimeter. So, what we see is using the safe factor method, the diameter of this riser can be calculated out to be 9.98 centimeter as well as the height of this riser. So, using the safe factor method, we calculate this dimensions like that. Next part is assuming that the volumetric shrinkage of solidification is 3 percent for steel and that the volume of riser is 3 times that by the shrinkage considerations alone. So, if we assume that the riser volume will be 3 times the volumetric shrinkage of solidification. So, volumetric shrinkage percentage is 3 percent. So, in that case the riser volume will be 3 times the volumetric shrinkage of solidification. So, it will be nothing but 3 times volumetric shrinkage is percentage of shrinkage multiplied by the volume of the casting. So, it will be percentage is 3 percent. So, it is 0 0.03 times 25 by 12.5 into 5. So, you have to multiply that and that will be 3 times 0 0.03 into 25 into 12.5 into 5. So, that comes out to be 140.625 centimeter cube. Now, for this if we calculate, so this is the volume of the riser which we think on that consideration if we assume that simply 3 times the shrinkage volume will be enough to feed the casting and will not cause any shrinkage that will be sufficient for prevention of any shrinkage. In that case it is 3 times that shrinkage volume. So, that is coming out to be 140.625 and if the diameter of the riser is to be found it will be pi by 4 d cube is 140.625 and d can be taken as 140.625 multiplied by 4 upon pi and raised to the power 1 by 3 and this can be taken as 140.625 into 4 upon pi and raised to the power 1 by 3. So, that is 5.64 centimeter. So, what we see is if we take simply the shrinkage considerations and if we assume that 3 times the shrinkage amount will be enough to feed the casting and will be sufficient to prevent the shrinkage it is 5.64 centimeter. In this case it is 9.98 centimeter and in the earlier case already we have calculated using the Keynes method 10.89 centimeter. So, these are the different ways of calculation of the riser dimension by the different methods. The next question is find the riser volume required for casting shown below using NRL method. So, NRL method is nothing but the safe factor method itself. Also find the height of cylindrical riser for which height to dia ratio is 0 0.5. So, in this case what we see is you have a parent casting that is in the form of a plate and it has the dimension of 40 by 40 by 8 centimeter 
and to this attached are the four legs of the table and they are taken as they can be considered as the appendix volumes. So, these are the bars which have the cross section of 4 by 4 and length of 25 centimeter. So, in this case you have two things to do one is to find the riser volume for feeding this plate casting alone which is the top of the table and then you have to calculate the volume of riser which has to be extra given for compensating the shrinkage which may occur in this four appendage volumes. So, for that you have to give the extra metal in the riser. So, in that case first of all, so in this case you have the top plate top plate dimension. So, this is question number 2 top plate dimension is 40 by 40 by 8 centimeter and the four parasitic volumes or appendage volumes each of dimension it is given as 25 into 4 into 4. So, this is the case. So, first, first of all for riser volume required for top plate. So, what we do in this cases are first of all we find the riser volume for the top plate using the safe factor method. So, safe factor is L plus W by T. So, L plus W is 40 plus 40 80 by 8 10. So, for the safe factor value of 10 we will go to the graph and we have to see what is the value of the volume ratio. So, if we take here the value of 10 and if we come from here forward it is coming close to this point which is corresponding to a volume ratio of 0.4. So, for shape factor value of 10 V r upon V c is given as 0 0.4. Once we have 0 0.4 as the V r by V c, it means V r that is riser requirement for the top plate. So, you can write here top plate will be 0.4 times volume of the casting and volume of casting will be 40 by 40 by 8. So, it will be 5120 centimeter cube. So, this riser volume is required for feeding that top plate. Now, we have four appendage volumes. Now, in this case the situation is that there is feeding of the plate by the riser plate by the so feeding is by the plate and feeding to the bars. So, these are the bars because their cross section is 4 by 4. So, they are bars. So, now riser volume calculation for parasitic volumes. The four bars are taken as that is four bars. So, four bars are taken as considered as the parasitic volumes. Now, for that 
what we see is this is a case of plate feeding bar. Because the main parent casting is in the form of plate and this is feeding these bars. So, this is a case of plate feeding bar. Now, in that case what we see in the graph is that the x axis is thickness parasitic by thickness parent that is known as thickness ratio. So, thickness ratio that is nothing but thickness parasite by thickness parent. So, thickness parasite is given as 4 centimeter and this is given as 8 centimeter. So, it is 0 0.5. Now, for this the case resembles to a plate feeding bar and the plate feeding bar is this curve. This curve is bar feeding plate, this play curve is plate feeding bar and this curve is bar feeding bar or plate feeding plate. And this case being for the plate feeding bar. So, we have to see corresponding to this thickness ratio of 0.5, we have to find where is that percentage of parasitic volume comes out to be. So, for this for thickness ratio of 0 0.5 if you see here and if you go to this curve in the middle this is 0.5 and it will go like this. So, it will be plate feeding bar. So, here it is touches here at this point and this is nothing but 30 percent. So, this is 30 percent it goes from 0 0.5 it touches this bottom line at this point this is 30 percent. So, percentage of parasitic volume is given as 0 0.3. So, in that case the riser volume for the parasitic volumes it will be 0 0.3 times parasitic volumes. And parasitic volume is there are 4 bars and each having this dimension. So, it will be 0 0.3 times 4 times 25 into 4 into 4. So, it will be 400 into 4 600 1600 into 0 0.3 that is 480. So, 480 centimeter cube is the contribution which is required for feeding these 4 appendage volumes. So, total volume total riser volume for feeding top plate and appendages or parasitic volumes it will be 5120 plus 480 it will be 5600 centimeter cube and from there you can find the volume of the cylindrical riser. Now, for volume of cylindrical riser the condition is given is that height to dia ratio is 0 0.5. So, riser dimension height to dia is given as 0.5 so 1 by 2 so d will be 2 h or h will be 2 d 0.5 d so pi by 4 d square h will be 5600 that is 
pi by 4 d square into h is d by 2. So, d by 2 is 5600 and you can calculate d cube as 5600 into 8 upon pi raised to the power 1 by 3. So, this way, so this is d cube and we can calculate d as 5600 into 8 upon pi raised to the power 1 by 3. So, it is coming out to be 12.12 centimeter. So, this is the diameter of the cylindrical riser and height will be certainly it will be d by 2. So, half of this and this will be the size of the riser to feed such castings which has the plate as well as the appendage volume. So, this is how we calculate the riser volumes required for feeding such castings. Thank you.